Zucchinis in bikinis are coming down the stairs. Zucchinis in bikinis, they'll give you your chest hairs. Hello, everybody. My name is Tupperware Pete. Yes, eating your veggies. You've got to eat your veggies to grow up big and strong, right? So, what I'm going to be doing is... Someone just gave me a whole bunch of zucchini and tomatoes. And if you're watching, thank you so much. What I'm going to do is, because in my VetSmart container, these are going to last, that zucchini is going to last for at least three or four weeks. So I don't have to eat them all this weekend. You know, if you get a glut of fruit or veggies, you don't have to, quick, we've got to eat zucchini for the next three days. No, 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 no. Pop it in your VetSmart container. Zucchinis and tomatoes are a light breather. So you... Seal off the airflow. Instead of making a lot of airflow, you seal that off into the middle so there's not much airflow happening. And I can literally come back in three weeks' time. My zucchinis will still be beautiful, right? What I'm going to do is cook up a zucchini and corn slice. I was going to do a fritter, and I thought, no. Then I thought, I might do a slice. And I thought, no. And I thought, you know what? Let's just combine the two and hope for the best. See what happens. So I'm going to use my supersonic chopper. I'm going to cut. I'm going to bake it in the micro pro grill. This is the barbecue that goes into the oven. It's like a little mini oven that goes into the microwave. Yes, it's made out of stainless steel. Yes, it's very safe. All right. That's what I'm going to do it in. So. Let's get cracking. Beforehand, though, I've had a few people ask me about the Tupperware can opener and exactly how it works. So I want to be thorough. So I'll show you. You open up the arms, right? Now, there is this little beak here. There's a little turning. See, that's the turning wheel. And there's this little knob in there, right? It doesn't actually cut. It just releases the seal. Okay, so what you do is you open up the arms, you aim at getting the rim of the can in between the turning wheel and this knob, okay? So it doesn't matter if you've got the ring pull there. Sometimes the ring pull's gone. When you use the ring pull, you have to like be very careful not to cut yourself. There's still massively sharp edges in there. This is going to prevent all of that and it's going to keep everything nice and safe, all right? So, especially if you've got bin divers, you know, dogs, kids, partners that sort of go back into the bin. Oh, hang on, the instructions are back in the bin. You reach into the bin and you slice yourself in the, tup in the can opener. But with the Tupperware can opener, it'll keep it nice and safe so the bin divers will be happy, all right? Open up the arms, slide that on. You close up the arms and you know you've got the whole thing on because you can lift it up, all right? Whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you just turn it in a clockwise direction until you feel the pressure ease. Sometimes you'll hear a little click. Just turn it back a quarter of a turn or just release the arms and lift that up, right? Now, see this little beak? Hook that over the can, close up the arms, one hand on the can and you lift that up and this has never touched any food. So there's no need to wash it. Go over to the bin, you release that, that goes into the bin. Now, no sharp edges on that. No sharp edges on that. It doesn't cut, it releases the seal, all right? So I'm just going to drain this corn off. That was one thing I didn't prep. Let's just quickly drain that corn off, if we can. <laughs> So you know what we're going to do? We are just going to... Oh, that's up the top. We will... Oh, here we go. I'll just pop it in here until I'm done. <laughs> okay, so... Let me wash my hands. I'm going to wash that corn right out of my hands. I'm going to wash that corn. All right, now, this is the fun stuff. You grab your supersonic chopper. You can take the top off that way or... You can take that top off there, and that fits on the small chopper in there as well, all right? So you can take this off. There are blades in here. There are measurements up the side. Can you see those measurements? There is a fill line, and there's more measurements up in here. So you can measure up in cups or fluid ounces or milliliters, all right? Up to, like, 1,200, 1,300 mils, right? So what we're going to do is grab our parsley. I've got parsley in a Tupperware Vent Smart container, and I'm just going to... Chop that up, a decent amount of parsley, because I've got it, so I may as well, right? Great. Vitamin A, all of that sort of stuff. Pop that straight into there. There's my parsley. Parsley in my VentSmart container will last for about three weeks in there. All, m most, almost all leafy greens are a medium breather, so they need a little bit of oxygen, but not too much, not as much as broccoli needs, all right? So we've got our parsley 
into there. There's a one blade of parsley. I've got this here. This is my onion keeper and my garlic keeper. So I've got garlic will last for months in here and so will onions, right? So what I'm going to do is just grab my onion. I've got my Tupperware cutting mat and we will just grab a knife. I like the Tupperware knives that have the lockable protective cover on them. So all I'm going to do is top and tail this. I'm just going to slice this straight in half so that I can peel that. And that is as simple as it gets, right? We'll just take that black bit off and we'll just... Let me know where you're watching from. I love finding out where people are watching from. Which hemisphere are you in and which country are you in? And if you're in Australia like I am, whereabouts in Australia are you? So there we go. I'm in the Sunshine State. Beautiful. One day. Perfect, the next. All right, so we've got our onion. Oh, there we go. So we'll just pop that straight into there. We're going to chop that just into chunks. We'll pop that into quarters and we'll pop that straight into there. Really simple. While we've got this, we've got our garlic. Now, while I'm there, let me just show you if I can. If it's, if it's within cooey of reach. No, it's not within reach. I'll just use this one, right? So what, what you can do is just slice this straight in half. Can you see what I did with the, with the garlic? Then what you can do is... Here we go. And that should release. <laughs> it's, it works on paper. <laughs> it's good. It, it was good when we were running, running the ideas through earlier, but that's okay. We'll throw in some garlic cloves into there. We'll pop that straight into there. And then what we'll do is that can go back into there. And we'll pop that away. And we'll pop that over there for next time. Too easy. All right. So this is now the fun part. You know when you, you couldn't be bothered cooking, uh, chopping onions or garlic or anything? This will make light work of everything you normally chop, whip, mix, blend, fold in the kitchen. It's a zero carbon footprint when, you leave, when you're using it, right? So all you have to do is... It's quicker to just show you than it is to explain it, right? So there's a few pulls of the cord. There's my onion, my parsley and my garlic. If you want it really like a fine chop, like a, like a fine slice or a fine dice, what you do is you just make sure that's on properly. Just pull the cord a few more times. Really easy, okay? When you're using it, that goes upside down, Miss Jane. Stick that on the bench top. You grab your Eco Plus clear bowl, which is not only great for a mixing bowl or a salad bowl uh, or a dessert bowl or a punch bowl. You can use it as a soup bowl or like to put your hot pasta or spaghetti bolognese in or whatever because these are heat resistant. These are the ones that they take single-use plastic out of landfill and they, they get rid of all of the impurities. They leave um, the Tupperware ingredients, like the top shelf ingredients, and that's what they use to make the Eco Plus range within Tupperware, right? So we've got our parsley, onion, garlic. Let's grab our Tupperware spatula and we will pop that straight into here. Um, I've been selling Tupperware for almost 30 years. People tell me I can talk underwater. <laughs> Which is probably true, let me tell you. All right, so let's pop that there. We'll pop the blades into here. And then in here, this is the Tupperware Pictionary for the fridge. All your veggies are up the top, all your fruits are down the bottom. And you just find out whether the hole is fully open, fully closed, or half and half. And you just use the slide, the slide according to... Um, how much airflow it tells you that you need. I normally wash the veggies as I pull them out. So pop your veggies in here dirty, wash them as you use them. I've just pre-washed these for the video so it doesn't take as much time because I like to talk. <laughs> All right. We will just top and tail these. Let me show you what I'm doing down here. Let's move this back up here. Let me show you what I'm doing here. There's a bit of garlic. Pop 
pop that over there. I'm just going to chop and tail these just to remove those bits. Now, it is important if you are grating carrot or zucchini or cheese or potato or sweet potato, or if you're mincing your own chicken meat, please make sure you chop it into chunks, manageable chunks first. That way, you're not going to put pressure on anything, all right? <laughs> oh, pressure! Okay, there's a couple... Is that two zucchinis? Okay, there we go. There is our zucchini. Now, if you want it smaller than that, you might want it... You might want it smaller than that. There we go. There's our zucchini. Right? So we'll just pop that straight into there. It's zucchini, parsley, onion. Two zucchini, I think, is plenty. And then what we've done is I couldn't find my double colander because I didn't know where it was. I'm thinking, where is it? Where is it? But you know where I've put it? I put it on my display. That's why I couldn't find it. So what I've done with this corn... I've just used the inside of my salad spinner as a colander to drain off that corn, all right? So we'll just pop that, woo, pop that straight into here. And that can go over there. See, Tupperware's very versatile. All right, so there's my corn. I've got my zucchini, my parsley, my onion, my garlic. Now I'm going to, let me just move this out of the way. I'm going to make up some milk. I don't normally drink, I don't have milk on my um, cereal or, or if I do, I normally just quickly make it up. I keep my milk powder in this ultra clear square. It's going to extend the best before date of that milk powder. Some people say up to five years longer. It's a very easy to remove and easy to apply seal. So you don't have to mess about with the corners. You just grab the tab, peel the seal, and now all I've done is, with our, you know the what, micro cook pitcher, there's measurements on the inside. So I've just measured up 150 mils of water, or you can measure up on the front of the, the shaker. That's entirely up to you. All I'm gonna do is, measured with love. <laughs> Let's do this as a full cream milk, right? <laughs> <laughs> or extra dollop. There we go. We'll pop that straight into there. Let's pop the blender wheel in there. We will apply the seal. That's got all the little measurements on the inside there as well. So we will apply the seal, pop that down. One, when you're shaking this, it's always best to put the liquid in first and then the powder. Just pop your finger on there just to stop it from popping off. Room temperature or cold water is ideal. Just give that a bit of a shake. There is our 150 mils of water, we, uh, milk. We'll just pour that straight into there. We will grab our eggs and we will, there, there are a couple of eggs. Grab a couple of eggs into there and we will just pop them into the bin. I think we might use four eggs. So it's almost like a quiche really, or a zucchini slice or a quiche. But I've got these plenty of eggs in here and they're, they're massive eggs, they're awesome. Now all I'm gonna do is some self-raising flour. Now you can use gluten-free or plain flour. If you want it to rise, just throw in a bit of bicarb or baking powder, that's gonna help it um, go further. I've just got this self-raising flour and I'm gonna pop it in, once we open it up, I'm gonna pop it into my ultra clear. This is the oval, so I've got my milk powder in the square. This is my ultra clear oval. Now, if the packet is roughly the same size as the container, then you know it's gonna fit, right? So what we might do is, I've got a funny feeling I'm gonna to need to use some of this before I pop it in. There we go, I am indeed. So what I'm gonna do is just grab my Tupperware measuring cups. I've got my one cup measure, is that a one cup? Yes it is. Let's grab now one cup measure. We will measure up that one cup, roughly. I'm gonna do another cup, I'm gonna do two cups. There we go. And that is gonna be sealed. We pop that on there. Now, until I can get a label happening with this, I'm gonna grab my Tupperware scissors and I'm just going to slice 
up until I can figure out the label. I can then, I've just got my self-raising flour. I'm just gonna pop that straight into there. So now I'm not gonna get that mixed up with my icing sugar. How awesome is that, all right? And some people say that's gonna extend the best before date up to five years, right? Because it's a proper airtight Tupperware seal, all right? So what we're gonna do in there, we've got our flour, egg, milk, zucchini, onion, garlic, corn. Let's grab our spatula. And let's just mix this up. I've got a funny feeling I'm gonna have a bucket load here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it in the micro pro grill and I'll show you. And I think I might grab one of the Tupperware silicon pieces. They've got a silicon rectangle form, which is great if I wanted to bake that in the microwave or in the oven. There's muffin mixtures, muffin containers as well. They call them Tupperware tup cake forms. So they're great for cupcakes and for muffins. Um, and they can go into the freezer, the microwave, and the oven. So if I'm not going to do this tonight, I can grab my seal, and I can seal that and pop it in the fridge, and then tomorrow afternoon for afternoon tea, I can quickly whip up, whip up some muffins. I can freeze them because this mixture will freeze really well as a muffin. I can get right down into there. The, the straight side of this... Um, Spatula is going to act as a little knife to help slice through and fold through and get right down to that flour so that I'm incorporating every piece of mixture into there. There's my flour. Can you see that? There's my flour, my corn, my egg, zucchini, and my onion and garlic. You can throw in whatever you want. Now, this is the fun part. Can you see that there? It's just incorporated beautifully. And now if I... If I'm not ready, if someone comes over with pizza, I can just seal that and pop it in the fridge for tomorrow, right? Now, the fun part, this is the Micro Pro Grill. This is the one that will go into the microwave that's made out of stainless steel. So this is ideal. If you're downsizing or you don't have a lot of room, this is perfect for you because this is an oven that goes into the microwave. It's a barbecue that goes into the microwave. It's an under the grill, it's a fry pan on the stove, it's a toaster and it's a sandwich press, all in the one product, right? Pop it in the oven position or the casserole position if you're doing potato bake, lasagna, scones, a quarter of a turn and now you can do your crispy six minute crunchy bacon, you can do all of your veggies, chicken wings, uh, rissole steak, chops, salmon, fish, veggies, all of those things into there. I'm now going to, instead of popping the ring in there, to make a, 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 a small, like a cake size omelette or a, a, a round zucchini slice, I'm gonna pop it into here. Now, there is a gutter around there. That's where, if you're doing your bacon or your chops or anything, the, um, the excess juices will go round to the outside instead of sitting in its own juices. So it's a true griller. It's not a broiler. It's an actual grill, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm just, please don't grease this. Don't spray it. Don't grease it. This is made out of the, it's an amazing invention called Eterna. And the top is Eterna as well. There's no acid used to make any of this um, non-stick surface at all. And it's the longest lasting non-stick surface on the planet, all right? So all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do about half of that. No, I'm not. I'm gonna put the whole lot in. Actually, I'm gonna put the whole lot in. <laughs> There we go. How awesome is that? Right? Then. Now, I'm not sure. I've never done this recipe before, so. Um, but look. That's it, baby. And I'm just going to pop that into the oven position. Let's move that milk powder out of the way. Now, this will go. We'll pop that into there. Here's another one. I do have a couple of them. When you lose the instruction booklet, all the instructions are on the bottom here. So it will tell you it's a maximum of 20 minutes, all right? And um, it does go up to 900 watts. So if you've got like this full-on fantastic whiz-bang microwave oven, just bring the temperature down or the wattage down to 900 watts, all right? So that's like a medium high or something, okay? So I'm going to pop this on for... I'm going to pop it on for 15 minutes. That's a cold micro pro grill. Some people preheat their grill. So grab a piece of bread, 
pop that into there, pop it into the grill position, pop it in for two minutes. That's gonna preheat that grill, because what happens is underneath here, there's a transformer. It's called a susceptor disc. And underneath here, there's also a susceptor disc. And what happens is that attracts all of the energy in the microwave, um, in the microwave oven, it converts it over to kinetic energy or heat energy, and it heats up both pads to 220 degrees, which is why it's a double-sided barbecue in, that goes into the microwave, right? So, or like an oven, right? Um, so I haven't preheated it. I'm just popping it into a cold grill, not a problem. Um, and I popped it in for 15 minutes. If you find me on any social media platform, Tupperware Pete, uh, I'll put the, the photos up there. If you're watching this in somebody else's... Uh, Facebook group or on Instagram or whatever, just reach out to them with any questions that you may have. If you've got a piece of Tupperware that you want to know more about, please let me know. Um, I, like I said, I've been doing this since the 90s. Uh, if I, chances are I've got the piece of Tupperware that you're asking. If you don't, if I don't have it, then I'll know all about it, all right? Now, in the meantime, while we're waiting for this to cook and you're, while you're waiting for the photos of the finished product to pop up onto my social media everywhere, do you know what you need to do? There is one thing you need to do. I'm sure you know. If you're a long time watcher, you might know what you need to do. Are you ready? Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy. I'll see you all another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.